Arpita ma'am, tell me one thing. Should I sit for set exam? I'm unable to clear net exam. Can I give set exam? I am in my master's first year. Can I give set exam? I am from Rajasthan. Can I give set exam of Gujarat? Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa. In this video, I will answer all these and many more such questions. I'm also going to talk about the similarities and differences between net and set. Plus, I'm going to talk about all the questions that you might have in your brain if you are planning to give your set exam. Towards the end of this video, I'll discuss who should ideally sit for set exam. I'll also talk about a few other FAQs which are frequently asked by students. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. If you are new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as I upload a new video, you are the first one to know about it. We're proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel in the field of UGC net set exam preparation. Ab bina diri kari hoye, chaliye start karte hai. To begin with, let us quickly see the difference between UGC net and set exam. The first thing that you should know is the full form of these two exams. Net stands for national eligibility test. Whereas SET stands for state eligibility test. In a lot of places, SET exam is also called SLET, which stands for state level eligibility test. Don't think that SET and SLET are two different exams. Both of them are same exam. The only difference between them is their short form. Ek exam ko do alag alag short form se bola jata hai. Now let's discuss the similarities between the two exams, NET and SET. If you have completed your master's or if you are doing your master's and you want to become an assistant professor or want to pursue PhD, you have to give either NET or SET exam. Both exams follow the same paper pattern. Both exams have two papers, paper one and paper two. Paper one is a general aptitude paper. Paper two is a subject specific paper. There is no negative marking in any of these exams. Both these exams are computer based except for some states where SET or SLET exam is still happening in pen and paper format. Still, there is no difference in the exam pattern. Both have got the same number of marks, same number of questions. Paper 1 has 50 questions for 100 marks. Paper 2 has 100 questions for 200 marks. Total exam is of 300 marks. Now let's look at the syllabus. Friends, syllabus is also the same for both the exams. There are 10 units in paper 1 in both the exams. This is teaching aptitude, research aptitude, information technology, or data interpretation and whatnot. Syllabus for paper 2 is also the same for both NET and SET. If I talk specifically about English literature, there are 10 units which include poetry, fiction, non-fiction, drama, literary theory, criticism, and all of this. SET ho ya NET ho dono mein same hi syllabus hai. Similarly, the eligibility criteria is also same for NET and SET both. Dono mein masters ke andar aapko minimum 55% marks lane hai without rounding off. This is for general candidates. It is 50% in case of ST, SC, OBC and PWD. You can avail GRF opportunity in both the exams. GRF is basically Junior Research Fellowship. It is given to students based on their merit. Benefits and eligibility for GRF is also the same for both the exam. A student who is under the age of 30 can avail GRF. Also, a relaxation of 5 years is given in some special cases such as females, ST, SC, OBC. Now, after looking at so many similarities, it's time to look at the differences between NET and SET. The major difference in both the exam is the scope. NET is national level exam. After clearing NET, one can apply for the post of assistant professor in any college or university throughout the nation. Suppose I have cleared my UGC NET from the city of Rajasthan, um, let's say Jaipur. I can apply for the post of assistant professor in any state, be it Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, irrespective of the place from where I have given UGC NET exam, I can still become professor of any other state college as well. On the other hand, the SET exam only permits you to apply for the post of assistant professor in that state in which you have cleared your exam. Suppose I have cleared SET exam of Gujarat. This means I am eligible to apply for the post of assistant professor in only Gujarat. Currently, there are 15 states in India that conduct their own SET exams. It includes Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Jammu Kashmir, Kerala, Maharashtra and few other states. Every SET exam is denoted by the name of the state. For example, Rajasthan SET is known as R SET, whereas Maharashtra SET is known as MH SET. Another difference between this exam is about the number of time this exam is conducted. NET exam is ideally conducted twice a year. It is conducted in the month of July and December. 
where a set exam is conducted just once a year. Difference number three is the difficulty level of these two exams. And it is the most crucial difference. And because of this difference, many students prefer to give set exam instead of net. Net exam is quite difficult in comparison to the set exam. Despite having the same syllabus, same level of questions, set is relatively easy. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. If you are preparing for paper 1, UGC net paper 1, paper 2, MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT, UPSC, GATE, SET or any other competitive exam related to English literature, I have an amazing news for you. We offer detailed online video course for all these exams. In our online courses, we provide you topic-wise video lessons with rich animations covering all important topics in step-by-step -step manner which works even when you have not done any previous preparation. We also provide very high quality PDFs and revision notes that cover syllabus-wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDFs, we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit-wise questions that comes with detailed explanation. Plus, after every test, you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in All India Leaderboard which will help you spot your weak and strong areas. We cover all these important topics, writers and works in our online course. The detailed list of all these topics that are covered in our online course is available free of cost on our website at pitakarva.com. Even if you're preparing for these exams on your own, we would highly recommend you to visit our website, download this detailed list of writers and check out solve past year papers of all these competitive exams. The link of our website and all our courses are given in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in the course. For more information related to the courses we offer, feel free to shoot your queries on WhatsApp number displayed on the screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Now I'm going to talk about a very important topic. Who should sit for the set exam? Personally, I would recommend set to those students who are preparing for UGC net but who were not able to clear UGC net in their previous attempts. I would like to request them not to quit their dream of becoming a professor. They still have a chance to redeem themselves through set exam. Another thing I would like to mention here is that most of the aspirants, they try to find a job in their hometown only after clearing net or set. Thus, if you're not able to clear net, you should definitely give set exam because both the exams hold similar value from a career perspective. Agar aapne net clear kar bhi liya, to bhi to aap job apne state mein hi karoge. So how does net and set make a difference for you? Another thing I would want to mention here is that if you have already cleared your net exam, you don't need to sit for set exam because net allows you to apply in any college pan India. Also, UGC net cleared candidates will be given an added advantage over set cleared candidates. Since net is relatively difficult exam, it is believed that those who clear net are slightly more intelligent than those who have cleared set. Do you also feel that those who qualify set are academically weaker than those who clear net? Comment below right now. In the next segment of this video, we are going to talk about two frequently asked questions. But before that, a small reminder for all of you. If you are looking for past year papers of UGC net paper 1 or paper 2, then we invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided past 10 years papers along with answer key free of cost on our website. You can simply go and download the paper and start your preparation right away. Now let's quickly look at the first commonly asked question. Can a student give the set of any other state other than their own hometown? For example, if I'm a student who belongs to Rajasthan, can I give set exam of Gujarat? The answer is yes, Y-E-S. I can apply for Gujarat set and give the exam. I can also apply for Maharashtra set for Kerala set. In fact, I can give exam of as many set I want to give, irrespective of whether it's my hometown or not. Second question is from students whose states don't conduct their respective set exams. For example, states like Bihar, Jharkhand do not conduct their set exam. How can such students sit for set? How can they sit for set exam and clear it? As I've already discussed in my first question, a student can give set exam of any state. They can give the set exam of state that is near to their hometown or they can give it according to their convenience as well. Basically, you have to go to any professor in any state or whatever state you have to give the set exam of 
अगर आपका स्टेट सेट कंडक्ट नहीं कराता तो आपकी स्टेट से अटैच जो भी स्टेट है फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिहार में आप रहते हैं तो आप यूपी सेट दे दीजिए ओके सो आप वो वाला सेट एग्जाम दे सकते हैं I think I've answered most of your questions related to differences, similarity, syllabus, eligibility criteria of set and net through this video. With that note, I would like to end this video. I hope I was able to clear the confusion that you had in your mind. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. I'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubts, or if you want me to make video on any other topic, feel free, Baba, to put that in the comment section as well. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature, and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.